warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dear Honorable Judges, the rest of the committee, and other viewers, it is such a pleasure to be able com to compete in this competition that all of you have organized. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin, wa bihi nasta'in, wa la umurid dunya wa din, wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin, amma ba'du. First, in the name of Allah, the Lord of the Lords, the King of the Kings, the Master of the Day After, and the Creator of the Universe. Secondly, salawat and salam always be given to our Prophet Nabi Muhammad وسلم, who has brought us from the darkness to the lightness, from the Jahiliya era to the Islamia era. And thirdly, and I don't forget to say thank you all to my friends and teachers who has helped guide me and support me through along the way. Today, my name is Reina Nashatu Ulami Salma. I'm an I am a ninth grader from SMB at Misandra and Bumi Chandakia, and I will be delivering a speech surrounding the decline of religion and morals among the younger generation. And so, without further ado, let me start the speech by telling you a recurring experience I always have wherever I go. Whether it be on my way to school or just hanging out with some friends, I always manage to see teenagers around my age hearing dangerous weapons, saying every square word imaginable, and much more disrespectful things. So, eventually, after experiencing this multiple times, I've come to realize that the decline of morals and religion has become a major and big problem among the younger generation. So, in this speech, I will be dissecting three main points, in which I will first inform you about the main reason behind moral degradation, then its ties with the decline of religion, and finally, how we can all face this major problem together to lead the younger generation within the right direction. Now, I would just like to say how incredibly grateful I am to have a wonderful environment constantly around me, even if I'm at home or in my dormitory. But unfortunately, many people might not have the same privileges as I do, so, this brings me to the first and main reason of moral degradation, the lack of positive guidance, encouraging guidance, education, and counseling. These we will call external factors. These external factors can be resulted from things such as, from environments such as family, uh, school, and communities. But there are also factors in which we must control ourselves, such as personality and habits. These we will call internal factors. But among all these reasons is one that can be both an internal and external factor. And it isn't surprising that it is the decline of religion. So what is the connection to being religious and virtuous, you may ask? Well, Rasulullah وسلم, once said, The most complete believers in faith are those with the best morals. Therefore, hopefully without a doubt, we can all agree on how much more religious one is, the more virtuous one becomes. And before I move on to the next point, I would first like to mention the declining rate of Islam. According to a study done by the Ministry of Religious Affairs of Indonesia in 2012, despite the increase in population among Indonesia, the population of Muslims are decreasing rapidly each and every year. And so, with this in mind, I hope we can all lead Islam to a brighter future and thus increasing the morals of the younger generation. And so, after we've acknowledged the roots of our problem, let me guide you on a couple of methods that we can use as a solution that we ourselves are able to do that might actually make a bigger impact than we might think. The first method is being a role model. Now, ever seen superheroes on your favorite TV shows and imitating yourself when you were a kid? Well, regardless if you're a teacher, a parent, or just a teenager, the younger generation are likelier to adopt and imitate the behavior they see among others in their communities. 
The second method is reminding and correcting others. As a ninth grader myself, it's quite often you see juniors misbehaving and being impolite. But it's okay, because we've all been there, and it isn't too late for them to change. So by helping reminding and correcting their mistakes, we're playing a big part in shaping their morals and character development. The third and final method is increasing Islamic knowledge. Now, <clears throat> now, learning furthermore about Islam can be done every single day. Even if you only read books or memorize the Quran, with the right intention in your heart and enough hard work, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always help you along the way. And so I suppose that concludes my speech for today. Hopefully, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you watching this, the speech I've delivered will make an impact on this matter, no matter how small it may be. So, please forgive me for any mistakes I've made during the speech, and thank you all for your time and attention. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.